Welcome back to the channel from the one, the only Ruby Gamer. And as you can see here by this uh, tour right here, we're doing showcase my complete uh, Transformer uh, collection, including toys and movies. So, anyway, right here, I got this one from McDonald's. It is an Optimus Prime uh, action figure, which is not going to be the last time you see Optimus Prime. And from the first uh, Transformer movie, this is part of the new Transformer Studio Series. Uh, lineup which this one can turn into a uh, police car hence the name police on the side on his arms which would actually end uh doing what would actually be his doors um barricade which this toy can stand up uh, very real well and another one from the Transformers Studio Series lineup I believe this one is from the Transformers Dark of the Moon movie uh, my least favorite of, of my entire Transformers Studio Series uh, lineup only had three of them. So, anyway, um, crankcase, and then continue on with the Transformers Studio Series lineup. I have one of my favorite Transformers right here. Uh, it took me forever to be able to find this guy. I, he, this ain't the regular standalone version of the Transformers Studio Series. Um, I was probably just one that came with the trailer and everything. So. Uh, a little bit more expensive on that regard, so I don't play with any of these Transformer toys. I'll be right back. So I'm glad this was like a couple of minutes for me, but that was long for you guys. So right now I'm going to showcase my Transformers um, Blu-rays. If you guys want me to see like I'm doing an entire ranking video of breaking all the Transformers movies uh, from worst to best, let me know in the comments in the comment section down below. So next we got the Blu-ray plus digital HD of the Transformers 4 movie collection it includes Transformers, Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen. Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon, and Transformers 4, Age of Extinction. Uh, when Transformers 4, Age of Extinction first came out, I actually did not enjoy the movie very much. Um, so anyway, the very first Transformers movie came out all the way back in 2007, 2009 for the second one, 2011 for the third one, and 2014 for the uh, Transformers 4, uh, which Transformers 4 is the one that introduced the uh, Dinobots into the Transformers franchise. Another one, the Blu-ray plus duty plus digital uh, HD version of the Transformers uh, The Last Night. Um, I honestly don't remember much about this one. I remember when it first came out, it, I hated the first tra the Transformers 4. I hated it, but when this one came out, it actually brought uh, light to the new characters and some of it. Uh, it made me actually appreciate Transformers 4 um, more than I did when it first came out. So I got Transformers the last night. Uh, I believe this is the one that had when Optimus Prime turned evil, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I think that, yeah, uh, this is the one where Optimus Prime turned evil. Um, and then the most recent Transformers movie, which is technically not even a Transformers movie. Uh, it stars uh, WWE Superstar John Felix Anthony Cena, um, which apparently this is the best Transformer movie yet. I don't think so. Still to me, I think this one will always be the best Transformer movie, which is the first one. Ooh, uh, hang on. Up the side. To me, the first Transformer movie will always be the first one, so I got uh, Transformers. Uh, Transformers 2, Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, Transformers 3, Dark of the Moon. And then Transformers 4, Age of Extinction. That is a nice uh, Blu ray box set. 
And I also got the Transformers last night, which came with a slipcover. So we get tons of Transformer movies right here. Uh, I advertise more great Transformer movies from 1 through 4. And I come on the back. So this one um, includes DVD. So you get the feature film right here, the Blu-ray special feature. So feature film, special feature, and somewhere that is not here. I don't know where it's at. The Transformers Last Night DVD. Oh well, I never. Uh. Watch it anyway, so. And the most recent Transformer movie, uh, Transformer movie is fun, action packed, and exciting. And also, it's the best Transformer movie yet, which is. Um, Bumblebee, which this one includes the feature film and special features. And. The Transformers Bumblebee, uh, DVD. And there is also a. What does that say? The uh, Transformers, the Ultimate Transformers 5 movie uh, collection, and then my code on the back for Bumblebee. So, I won't give you any of my codes, so. So. Uh, there you guys go. There is my complete uh, Transformers movie. Collection. So anyway, as you can obviously tell, I do like the Transformer movies, uh, considering I do have all of them on Blu-ray. So the complete Transformer movie collection right here on Blu-ray. Amazing set. Plus crankcase. Barricade. And the Lone Wolf. Of the Autobots. Um, Optimus Prime. So, anyway, guys, oh, uh, I guess you consider this an Autobot 2, considering he is uh, Optimus Prime 2. I forgot, I do have this that came with me. These all the way. I want to add this in. So, anyway, when I actually bought the uh, Transformers 4 movie collection I actually did not just buy it with the Transformers 4 movie collection it also came with this letter uh, Transformers Prime miniaturized Transformers Prime oh wait so when I first bought this it actually came with my Transformers 4 movie collection it actually transforms into a small little um, bumby so this ball joint is a little loose so uh, there it is not really big but it's uh, Quite a small uh, Transformer, but I can't have my Transformer 4 movie collection right there. So I'm gonna have place all these to the side because I do have some more Transformer tapes that are not on Blu-ray. And from what I know of, I do not think these are all available on uh, Blu-ray. So right here they are. Uh, these are 
some of these are from Transformers Prime, and some of them are from, well, uh, the Transformers uh, Robots in Disguise. So the first one we have here with the front of the cover. I forgot his name, I forgot his name, but I definitely know that guy. It's Optimus Prime from the Transformer Robots in the Sky. It's overloaded and um, the Decepticon Island is only a two episode uh, disc. And as we got, the latest one has, yeah, a lot more episodes that it actually has the first one, two, three, the first five episodes of the Transformers uh, Robots in the Sky's television show. Uh, this one includes Sideswipe, Bitsit, and uh, Bumblebee. If you guys don't know, because the Transformer Robots in the Sky is, is mainly focused on Bumblebee being the leader instead of Optimus Prime. And here we go, we got the Transformers Prime, which includes a lot of characters on the cover. If I remember, I believe this Bumblebee, RC, uh, Optimus Prime, uh, Autobot Ratchet, Cliff Jumper, and uh, Megatron, uh, Starscream, Soundwave, and Cliff Jumper. This one is the four-part collection that includes Darkness Rising. It's like the the first four episodes of Transformers Four, uh, Transformers Prime, uh, combined together to make one big gigantic uh, Transformers Prime animated movie. Austin does include some talented voice actors uh so like includes like frank welker from uh scooby-doo he stars in here uh steve blum from wolverine and the x-men uh peter cologne which i believe he is the one that plays optimus prime and pretty much anything that has to do with um transformers and um Yeah, and also, oh yeah, Ernie Hudson from the Ghostbusters, and it also includes uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I actually did not even realize Dwayne The Rock Johnson was in uh, Transformers Prime, but if you look here, Not get that in to focus. Let me see if I can. You can kind of barely read it. Dwayne the Ron Johnson right there. I take a picture of it and hope I can get it, uh, a pretty good shot of it. But anyway, Dwayne the Rock Johnson does show star in that uh, Transformer movie. Surprisingly, Dwayne Johnson has never appeared in a standalone um, Transformer. Well, this one's blurry and stuff. Might an issue. Probably. Uh, do this later.